You know there's mornings when it's just too cold, you just don't want to go out. Well I've had one of those mornings this morning, it took me an age to get myself into my running gear and out the front door. It's just a mundane Tuesday morning and I'm out for my standard 9 to 10 mile run. About 3 kilometres in, this is a trading estate called Lions Farm. So I've just run up from my house and we're going to start a trail in a minute, get onto the hills for a few kilometres and then back down into the town again. That's the main A27 route into Brighton. Go back that way and you'll get to Chichester. If any of you are interested in Strava segments, I'm just coming up to a Strava segment now for which I am the course record holder. It's called the Lamley's Lane Full Climb. So this is Lamley's Lane here. And my watch says we're 44 metres from the start of the full segment climb. It's about 800 metres and it climbs 80 metres or so. I'm not going to attempt it today. Not with the camera in my hand. There we go. So we've climbed 100 metres so far since um, I left home, about four and a half kilometres. We're just going down now. It's a very regular run route that I do. It's not too far from my house to get onto the downs. We don't live very far from the seafront either, so I can choose flat seafront running or beautiful countryside trails. Not a massive fan of cows. I think I'm getting over my fear slightly. A few weeks ago I ran a race called the Hardmore 60 and about 40 miles in I crossed into a field and it was completely blocked with cows and there was absolutely no choice but to walk or run straight through the middle of them. So I just had to bite the bullet and go for it. And they moved out of the way and it was fine. Um, but I think that's uh, given me a little bit more confidence. Can't be overconfident, but quite often at the bottom of this hill, the cows are all congregated by this gate. Over here, you can see this white path going up. That's works to their cable for the offshore wind farm. Offshore of Worthing, there's a new wind farm. Generating electricity and the cables are gonna go under the ground all the way up here for miles. We shut gates after you in the countryside and don't drop litter. Honestly, I've had a busy weekend actually. I ran on Saturday the Beachy Head Marathon, which is a run from Eastbourne on the south coast of Sussex here in the UK and round in a loop and it comes back over the Seven Sisters, which are often used to um, dummy for the White Cliffs of Dover because the White Cliffs of Dover are no longer very white. So they use the Cliffs of the Seven Sisters as a, as a pretend for the White Cliffs. Anyway, so you run back across there. It's about 1,200 meters of elevation for the whole run. Um, what's that in feet? 4,000 feet. Three and a half, four thousand feet, something like that. 
and uh, I managed to do it my fastest time which is 3.38 so I was very pleased with that um, came 47th overall I still didn't beat my running buddy Richard who came in at 3.31 and he finished in 35th place but what I was going to say about the Beachyhead Marathon was litter I, it still amazes me you know people choose to run on the trails in the countryside presumably because it's beautiful because you know it's fantastic scenery and fresh air and and then they go and they drop litter the number of gel packs SIS high five gel packs I saw litter in the floor I just don't do it you know I don't care how elite you are you can carry your empty gel packet back to the finish line or to the nearest bin nearest aid station it's not that hard to do surely it's just coming up to another segment now it's another little hill climb I'm second on the leaderboard here my friend Paul Loder is first should be coming up on the watch but it isn't starts here anyway and goes up this hill we're just coming to the end of that segment now we're now at a crossroads so that's that segment there from way down there at the, the barn all the way up here it's not actually that long if you sprint it I think it's about just under two minutes so if you go that way, you're heading out towards Shoreham by Sea. Um, there's a hill up there called the Steep Down Hill. Yeah, you eventually get to the the River Ada, and um, and then beyond that you get to Brighton. That takes you up to Chanctonbury Fort, Chanctonbury Hill Fort, an ancient Iron Age hill fort. Um, so that's a good old run, it's a good old climb up there and then this is my short route down this little hill here and to Sisbury Iron Age Hill Fort and there's another hill fort that direction when you get to Brighton you come to Devil's Dyke and if you've heard of the Three Forts Marathon well, the Three Forts Marathon starts in Worthing and goes past all those three hill forts so we're heading down here for a shorter loop. I'm wearing my speed goat twos. Very much enjoying these. I like the speed goats better than my Hocker um, Challenger ACRs. They fell apart too easily. The, um, the tread was a bit rubbish to be honest. I, uh, I run this route very regularly. I see the farm workers all the time. I always wave and say hello. And they very rarely are particularly friendly back. Just a kind of brief smile, but never a hello or a wave or anything. Can't please some people. Over the past few weeks, I've been trying to put in about 100 kilometers a week 60 odd miles a week and at least a thousand meters of elevation a week 3,000 feet of elevation I film a lot of my runs as you know the next three races I have and one I've just done I'm not filming at all and I'm going to try and go fast so the first one Beachy Head Marathon. Very pleased with a massive PR on that, massive PB on that. So currently in training now for the Brecon Beacons 46 mile ultra on the 18th of November. And then foolishly, a week later, Wendover Woods 50, which is a Centurion event. Not far from Aylesbury, 
north of London. That's a 10 mile loop and you do it five times. Each loop has 600 meters of elevation, more than 600 meters elevation. So that's a hilly one. Brecon Beacons is not flat by any means. I mean, that's got well over 1,500 meters elevation. So after Wendover Woods and Brecon Beacons, in December we've got the Portsmouth 50k and that's pretty flat right along the coast to Hailing Island and back and that is my 50k PB at the moment of 408. It really depends on how I feel but I might try and get another PB there. Okay here we are at Sisbury Ring. It's another kind of crossroads. So that way goes back up to Chanctonbury. That way goes down into the village of Findon. This is the way we've just come. And here's Sisbury. There's a segment that starts right here at this gate and goes up to the top gate at the top of the climb. I hold the course record for that. And then there's a shorter segment just up the the hill and uh, my friend Jack Leach holds the record for that. So if you want to have a go come to Sisbury Ring and uh, come and climb these hills. We're not going to go on to the top of Sisbury Ring we're just going to go around it. You'll find a lot of the paths on the South Downs are very like this, so quite chalky, rutted, slippy in wet weather. Sometimes you'll find there's loose rock. So there's lots of good trail running, good technical trails for you to practice on, on the South Downs. So here we are pretty much at the, the highest point of, well we're definitely the highest point of, of my run now we could we could go through that gate and up onto Sisbury Ring Fort itself but we're skirting around it and it's downhill all the way now back to the town we've climbed 250 meters of ascent I don't know how high we are maybe 200, 150, 200 meters high. So this is nothing like, you know, the thousands of meters climb you get in Colorado and places like that, or the Lake District, you'll get a thousand meters of climb, I think. Certainly Snowden, you'll get a thousand meters all the way up. So I don't know if you can see, but over there in the distance, you probably can't see, but the sun is shining on the new wind farm out there in the sea. There's Worthing Town down there and this is our beautiful countryside that we live in. This hill is affectionately called Cardiac Hill. <laughs> Luckily I'm going down it and not up it today. It's a lot easier coming this way. So we've done about 12 kilometers now and we're just dropping down back into Worthing Town. We're going to pass Worthing College in a minute and then Starbucks. I often stop at Starbucks I must admit on the way home. Not today though. It's autumn here in the UK so leaves are all coming off the trees. This week it's been decidedly colder. I'm not going to Starbucks. 
not today. This is Broadwater. Broadwater is one of the oldest villages in Worthing. Alan! That's Alan from the running club. As I was saying, Broadwater is not far from Worthing town centre, but maybe a mile or so out is the, one of the oldest villages in Worthing. And this little bit here is one of the oldest parts. And this church, we think, was once frequented, or a few times frequented by Jane Austen, who stayed in Worthing. And the cottage that she stayed in is now a Pizza Express. It's still standing. And if you're interested in literature, you'd be excited to learn that Oscar Wilde's play, The Importance of Being Earnest, was written in Worthing on the seafront in a building not far from the new Splash Point Leisure Centre. The building's knocked down now, being replaced by flats, but there is a blue plaque there in the UK when. Um, somebody of note lived somewhere they often put a blue plaque to uh, identify the place and the poet Byron Shelley wrote some of his works here as well in a building right in the center of the town near in fact right opposite the Pizza Express where Jane Austen stayed So a few minutes ago, we were up on the hills, way up there, looking at the sea, and now we're on the beach, clambering over the rocks. And there it is. 16 kilometers, that's just about 10 miles. Run a little bit further and we're down at the water's end. And there's Worthing Pier over there. And in the distance over there is Brighton. And you might just be able to see some white cliffs. coming with me on my little training run. I don't always come down to the beach, it was just for you that was. <laughs> so there we are, hour and a half, 250 or so meters of climbing, what's that? That's about 900 feet and um, 10 miles of running. Thanks very much for joining me. See you again another time.